Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Scary, Scary Shit. Shit. Of love. Lucía como una persona encorvada que vestía una túnica con capucha puntiaguda. When this planet may no longer be habitable. By a killer who's become known as the Night Stalker. A killer who apparently... Lives under a nuclear sword of damage. Opportunity to forge a new world order. When we are successful, we have a real chance at this new world order. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back doing another scary shit episode. So today we decided to go back to our old traditions and actually come out somewhere scary. Somewhere Today scary. we're by here ourselves, at a, by ourselves with nobody, nobody. We're at a national park. Scary as fuck out here. Efren's hearing people running around us. I thought I he, heard, he thought he heard somebody around us. George is quiet. When George is quiet, he's scared. I'm but you cold. know this is <laughs> he's an uncle and it's freaking. This, this is why I brought this shirt right here. Jesus loves, loves you. you. All right, Jesus loves you. Gang, right? Gang. Welcome, guys, for this year, for this month, for this year, the month of May. Month of May. Only scary shit podcast episodes. That's and it. Some, and some and only some new, podcast and ep- some new those challenges for, videos. Yeah, for podcast episodes, only scary shit. Yes, yeah, that's, that's where we want to clarify. But we are gonna release some funny shit. By funny shit, I mean some. So y'all gonna videos. get scary oh, shit this podcast. month. Y'all gonna get scary y'all shit. Y'all gonna this month. y'all gonna get a little spoiled. Yeah. Y'all Ooh. gonna get a little spoiled. I like that. Joe. Mm-hmm. That shit was hard. Mm-hmm. Okay, talk to them, Twin. Talk to them, shit. <laughs> Anyways, boogie? guys. The vibe is scary. The vibe is scary. We're cold. We are cold. We're feeling things. We are feeling things. We're seeing things. We're seeing many things. We're smelling things. We're smelling things. We are. I'm gonna put a stink. And we're tasting things. I'm not tasting anything. Now let's get back to the scare. Fuck. We're dead. (gasps) No. Ah, no way. Oh man. Hello? Yeah. Oh man, God. Can you lock it up? Sounds good. All right, we'll head out right now. Thank you. So, I have a video of uh, this kid and his mom. They live in a house. And it was early in the morning, seven in the morning. He was getting ready for school. And his mom says that he gets ready for school every day. You know, the first thing he does is wake up at 7, make himself breakfast. And this time, he was like, Mom, I'm going to make myself breakfast. I'm going to make some noodles. And she said, okay, go ahead. So he goes downstairs, and he starts, like, getting shit for he needs. And all of a sudden, he just starts fucking screaming like crazy. Like, oh, no, 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 no. And he, like, runs upstairs. And he's fucking terrified. And his mom asks him, like, what's going on? Like, what, what's, why are you screaming? What is it? And she's like, someone's in the house. Like, someone's in the house. And she calls, um... Her dad, oh. and she's like, "Hey, someone broke into the house. <laughs> you know, to someone here, can you come?" And he was like, "Okay, first, like he needs to relax and shut up because if Something he doesn't, like that, yeah. if he if he doesn't shut up, they're gonna come upstairs. You're gonna find out that." They're and there. then they start hearing footsteps going up the stairs. Uh huh. That was scary right there. <laughs> Anyways, he started hearing footsteps. They started hearing footsteps going up. They're like running up the stairs towards their door, and it went, and then they didn't hear it no more. Yeah. So they um they calmed down, she took him to school and then she looked back at the footage. And you can see in the footage that he's opening the cabinets and he's just like getting the stuff he needs for, to make his food and all of a sudden he hears like a whisper in the cabinets and he fucking got scared and in ran up. Cabinets. And what he heard was somebody saying, How did you find me? And he got so scared, you can hear it loud and clear. How'd you find me? And he just fucking ran upstairs. He said, oh, hell no. Nah. And he ran and he was crying. You got the video? I got the video. Whoa. Oh. 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 Oh.
That is crazy. And you can tell it's actually true, to, like, terror. Like, when you scream like that and run out, that's fucking scary. You know what that, that run he made? It reminds me of, like, when you turn off the lights and mm-hmm. you're fucking running away. You feel like something's behind your back. Yeah. That's what I feel like he was feeling. Like Just imagine, like, he was running up and then the, the spirit or whatever, like, just dragged him down with their power. Yeah. That reminds that like, that, ty- that type of run, like, reminds you, like, when you're getting chased. And you're like... Like, like, yeah, like it's about to happen to you. Uh, like you're getting chased by a demon. You're like, bro, like, what if he's like inches away from just grabbing me, and you still gotta run? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> here's the crazy part: is that not only was he running away and crying, as soon as they locked themselves in the like in the room, they heard running upstairs. Oh, that's yeah. That's what you guys forgot. Like, yeah, he heard someone. Oh, they shit. both him and his mom heard someone running upstairs because they thought there was an intruder. But then when they look back at the footage and they check the house when their dad came, nobody was there. So whatever, it says something, how did you find me? And they ran up the stairs. That's crazy. Like it was actually chasing him. Yeah. yeah. So this next video has some context behind it. Um, do you guys know who uh, Bishop Mar- M- Marmarie is? No. He's Bishop Marmarie? Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a preacher and he uh, preaches uh, the word of God. In and Australia? He's, no, no, no. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, know what you're talking about. He, um, yeah. So this this preacher, he's uh, he's pretty he's pretty big. Like he's a really uh, well known preacher and uh, or or, or a speaker of God. I I don't know the term for his type of uh, you know talking, but like um, he uh, he had a he had a, ser- a service. This was all shot like on live on live uh you know live TV live stream, and um, in the middle of his, his of the sermon. A guy walked in with a knife and attacked him, and he stabbed him when his in uh, in his face, and he uh, started stabbing him multiple times with a uh, I think it was a like a little like makeshift knife I think it was. Okay. And a lot of people started stopping him. A lot of people started stopping him. All that. And uh, while people were trying to grab him and like you know, you know, get him out off and get him out, people were, were praying over him, and uh, even the bishop started praying for him too. The guy who got stabbed. Yeah. Even. Yeah. Even he got we started praying for over him, and it was it was a scary situation. I saw the the video it was so like it was super scary like to see that, and you can hear everyone screaming and all that. But at the same time, you hear a lot of these prayers like coming out of like these people's mouths, and um, there's a there's a video of the guy leaving the the place where they're at, and there's a lot of people like you know following and a lot of people recording, and in the midst of this recording. And in the midst of all these prayers and all these people and among the crowd, you see a black figure move around and jump. Yeah. And look at this the video. Like around him or away from him? Yeah. So they said that this is the demon probably that, that came out of uh out of, of that him. out of that area of where that guy was um, you know, was aiming to attack. And nobody luckily nobody got injured re- really badly. No one got injured or killed. Nobody got injured really badly or killed. And look at wow. this. Watch the wall. Yeah, it was a pretty bad. It was a really scary scene when I saw it. I was like, dude, what? what? Nothing. Did you time. see other video of the guy that um went inside like a church? Like a guy just walked in, walked like right, like right to the altar, right in front of like the pastor, and he pulled out a gun. It was about to shoot him, and the pastor like ran off. And uh-huh. the crazy part is they said, like, he, he pulled the trigger and everything, but it, it, didn't, it, it, it like, didn't got go stuck. Off. didn't go it off. got stuck. Wow. Uh, you know what's crazy about that video? Crazy. Is a lot of people are going to say it probably looks like a cat or something. Wow. But something you guys need to know is that a lot of images of demons have tails, you know, and they crawl on four. Yeah. You know, it, that's uh, if you look up on images of demons or, like, what's it called? Uh, on look on books and pictures of them, that's how they look. They have a long tail. They they crawl and they look like that, you know. Yeah. And it was. And it, yeah, it looks crazy. It looks a crazy, crazy situation. It's pretty crystal clear of like seeing that. And, that I, video, honestly. and I think going back to like what I seen is that the guy said like, "Oh, it told me to kill him." Yeah. It it it, it the the spirit told the guy to kill him. You should have seen this guy's face the whole time. He was smiling while people were on like on top of him. Oh yeah, that's not him. him. That. He was smiting. That's like, not him. Evil. His you, you eyes know. were so wide open and evil. Like, he was like this, like just smiling about yeah, the whole Yeah, that's not him. Was scary. That wasn't it. I mean, you know something too. I remember this one time. Um, I went to church. We went to a camp, and I remember me, and my friend Junior, we were leaving service to go use a restroom. 
But in reality, we were, we were going to go fuck around. Like, we didn't want to be in there. Mm. And I remember we were walking out, and we saw this girl, like, on the floor. And they were praying over her. And she was, like, shaking yeah. hard. And um, I remember Junior was like, hey, make sure you say cover yourself in the blood of Jesus Christ. Because that was that what you witnessed right now. Because it was my first time witnessing. He's like, what you just witnessed right now was... Uh, was a prayer over a demon like they were trying to get something out of her yeah and i was like really he was like yeah it's I not it's not a form of exorcism it's i think it is a form of exorcism almost like a a spiritual battle that somebody's having with yeah and i was just like whoa and i walked and i remember thinking i remember i can never get that image out of my head how it was how it looked you were at, at the fontana church or yeah fontana at? church yeah i we wasn't were, we're, scared we were in camp we're yeah in camp. we were in camp i wasn't camp. scared i wasn't traumatized i don't want people to think that i was just like whoa like i witnessed that you know i never thought i would witness something like that before to us, it was like our first time seeing something, and we're like something like that, and we're like, "Whoa!" Remember, like, remember that out. time that you guys did at the convention center where there was a girl who threw up right next to you guys and was right screaming? in front of us. Yeah, and nobody was hopping around. I was like, "Want to explain a little bit of that story?" It was just like me and um, well, I just saw what they drew here. <laughs> Sorry, me and um, my friend Ivan, uh, we were standing next to each other, and um, I remember I think it was Ivan. Yeah, I, I believe it was Ivan or Junior. We were next to each other. Ivan Jr. or Biggie, one of those guys, one of those guys, and we were by the, not in front of the altar, but a good, uh, like, good, like, a little far away from the altar, you know, the altar was over there, we, we were still, you know, able to see the worship and all that stuff, there was a buttload of people around us, like, a lot of people, and, um, like, it's filled, bro, filled to the, to, like, to the brain, where it would just be these people, like, just, like, screaming and, like, singing their hearts off, praying, praying, and um, I remember like just seeing this girl like right in front of me, right in front of me, like super close. She started screaming like like loud screams of like ang- like of like anxiousness and all that stuff like just built up in her and just just screams. And she's like leaning down like that and just screaming and screaming. And then me and my homie were just looking at each other like, dude, like what do we do? What are what are we witnessing? Yeah, and I remember seeing like a guy just drop like like fall. Like there's people like sitting like we were like in a like an aisle like looking forward and there's people like right here sitting down so there's a group of people sending people sitting down this guy literally fell like all the way back and landed on somebody's like knee like his head hit on his knee and the guy like caught him a little bit and i was like dude like this is crazy it was like my first time like winning these this stuff too and then the girl in front of us when she she got on her on her knees and like her, her palms flat on the ground and she started throwing up and I was like, whoa, like I took a couple steps back and me and my friend were like, dude, what do we do? I remember you, I remember you described it as she screamed louder than the music. She did. Like she was screaming super loud. I was like, dude, what the heck? Like I was like, dude, I can't even hear. But I was like, of course, like I wasn't going to be like, bro, shut up. Like, no. Of course. <laughs> but she was just yelling and then she got on her knees, threw up. And then me me and my homie were like, whoa, like, what do we do? Like, where's the, where's her pastor? Where's the people that are like are supposed to pray over her? Like nobody's here. Like she's fighting this for herself. I thought it was pretty powerful. Just see her like going through this by herself. I was like, wow, this is amazing. But yeah, that that story like I always like explain to people like, oh, like don't don't be scared. Like it's something that you're gonna see if you're like if you're gonna be going to church a lot. You know, you all you gotta do is just like you gotta stay firm and you can't be like scared about it. You just gotta be like, oh wow, like what a blessing that that this is happening to this person. Yeah. Like they're they're going through this because they had hardships in their lives, and they're they're taking that out. You know. Or taking that spiritual demon or battle out of them, which I like, it's awesome. And what first. people don't know is like the demons come out. Like, it's about throwing up. What's in the other one? Throwing up. Sometimes, like when people are, when Spitting. they when these people are like praying like, over these people, the demon responds back to the people, and it kind of like they don't stay hushed. So, because when you say, like, um, you know, you know, I learned that when 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 they throw up. It's because they ate something, or something was in their mouth, and they, or, or they took something, and it, it was left in like in their in their in, in inside themselves. Yeah, that's well, that's what I that's what I that's what I heard. Yeah, because my pops told me he told me it was like it, that like when they throw up, that means like they took something, or like they had like a ritual, they ate something or something like that. Yeah, I was like, whoa. Because I I follow this guy on Instagram, and he goes and like preaches the word to or like he's a uh, he preaches the word to like different churches. Yeah, and like a lot of people get like um. What's the what's the word that um inspired? No, no, no. 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 Right now, what you're talking about? Was Exercised? It yeah, well, that's the word for it, though. Evangelized or no. or spiritually like uh, prayed over? Yeah, when but when you like, no whatever oh, when yeah. it happens whatever yeah. And I guess like he'd like someone in the name of Jesus get out and then 
demon like he asks him like how did you get in he's like oh i got in through and through anxiety through depression I, I got in i got in this person he through he or her through their parents because their parents did it like a witchcraft when they're younger like it's it's passed down like from generation curse wow. and, so, and it's curse. crazy like it doesn't matter like if you don't do it like it could probably be what your parents believed in, in witchcraft or your parents it, parents believe yeah parents parents believe it's it's generational generational curse so therefore you must rebuke in the name of jesus and it's crazy bro when i see this video like the demons literally responding back to this person because that's how powerful his name uh, is yeah. that's fucking scary that really is scary yeah. <laughs> wow that's just speak of something like that that really is scary so i have another video this video is about a woman and she woke up in the middle of the night to eat something to get some snacks and she got up to make herself a bowl of cereal in the middle of the night and loki that sounds good at night having a bowl of cereal when you wake up from you know your sleep so she goes to the kitchen and she starts pulling out like the bowl the milk and the cereal and she sits down at the table and starts making it and all of a sudden she hears someone behind her say hi and she just like turns around like what the fuck and then, and then like it's nobody and she just felt so scared like you can tell from her like her body language that she was so scared she gets up and then like she just goes okay um i'm gonna go back to sleep and she just go back to sleep yeah. and it was so fucking scary like let me show y'all whoa and yeah. they caught it on camera like she literally caught it on camera yes jumps when a loud female voice can be heard saying hi from the doorway right behind her that's crazy it yeah it said it twice. i said hi and it hi. said how you doing i said hi again said oh hi. yeah i said hi and hi wow. that's crazy bro. in in her door in the middle of her doorway and you could she's like oh jesus you know that's fucking scary <laughs> That yeah, is fucking. And I, like way, the, I like the way she handled it. It was pretty gangster. She said, "I'm gonna go to bed." No, I don't think that was just handling. I think she was just so fucking confused. Uh huh. I don't think that was her handling it. Like the way you said, I think it's just her being so fucking confused. Like, what the fuck was that? You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would have been me. Like, you're in the middle of the fucking night, and you're waking up, and you're hearing somebody saying like, "Hi." I'd have been like, "What the fuck was that?" Like, I'm so confused. Yeah. That's scary. That is scary. And I feel bad because I killed her meal. She was like, I'm going back to bed. Like, she was about a month. She was about a month, bro. That shit is oh, scary. Man. If you she guys ever like, witnessed man. something like that before, like waking up and hearing somebody else in your house and them saying hi to you, that's fucking scary. That and what scary. else is scary? A car just pulled up and looked at us and then fucking left. <laughs> and that's even more scary. They don't come think, back and rob us. Gonna, uh, fuck. That's I, I think, I think like, they're going to fuck. Fake or real? And Ooh. this is why. Okay. Okay. So. I like I like these fake or we should do that a segment like fake or real. Yeah. Let us know. A Mexican YouTuber by the name of Eric Gunner has been haunted for about two years. And every time he seems to move, the evil spirit seems to be following him. And in the next clip, I'm going to show you Eric gets woken up by a strange sound in the night. And this is what he captures. OK, OK. Let me show you. Bef can I can't can before. No, no, no. no. I was, was going to say something. But I want to watch it first. Like this is literally what he captured. OK. <laughs> No sé si se alcanzó a escuchar una voz. Se lo juro que no sé si se alcanzó a escuchar una voz. 
Hı. Sentí como si me soplaran en la nuca, no sé. Como si me hicieron así como... Mejor ya no pregunto eso. Eric says he felt something blow on the back of his neck, and his camera actually captures the sound when it happens. Uy. 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 Eric has only been downstairs for six minutes when he suddenly notices something downright creepy. No, ma. No manches. Está viendo lo que yo. Y, 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 y no solo eso, eh. Ahí en el. En el refri tenía una foto de mi mamá. Ahorita en el. No, bueno, no me fijé en el video. Pero pues antes de irme a dormir ahí la tenía. No está. Ni, ni tampoco está la cruz. ¿Qué pedo? A cross hanging on the living room wall and a photo that was hanging on the fridge only six minutes earlier are now mysteriously gone. What makes this so creepy is that Eric has barely moved and has been standing in the same general area for the entire six minutes. No one could have snuck in and taken the cross and photo without being noticed or at least making a sound. But it's what happens next that is truly terrifying. I have my opinions on it. That video is scary. Yeah. I'm scared shit at me. At I first. I thought I saw something. But at, fir at first, I thought it was real. It looked really real. But that ending. The it ending? was a little iffy. Uh, the ending's a little iffy. Yeah. Like when the camera starts glitching like that, I can tell that's an effect or something. Yeah, you know, like As a videographer and editor, that looks like an effect. But in the beginning, it low-key got me. Okay, I was like, okay, this shit. This shit looks real. Like, it's a, it's scary. You know, and especially when how you said like the but fucking like, cross like, is gone and the picture's yeah. gone. That that's those, those shit are that things that really happen. Like if someone goes through it. Yeah. Exactly how it went by. It, like when I first seen it, I'm like, bro, that's crazy. Like someone out there really like literally went through this one time. Like and that's them believable. To do it, them to be, do it like if it is fake, that's crazy. Like the details I, and all. Yeah, that. I feel like I personally feel like it's fake. I, I thought, feel like I it's, fake. it's fake, but the video is fucking scary. scary. That, that hand and face print was pretty. Another pretty thing good. too, I like to point out is that a lot of videos. So a lot of videos from, I think it's India, or I think or Japan, and Mexico. A lot of the scary videos are fake. A lot of them, you know, especially after the people who go ghost hunting and stuff like that. A lot of those are fake. Yeah. You know, you know, and and some of the Mexico ones are pretty scary. What are your thoughts, George? Real fake. I feel like it's fake, but just uh, the, the thought, thought of it, it it's, it's creepy. It's scary. Yeah. I give the scary a 10 out of 10, but the video, a fake out of 10. You know what, guys? You just left it like at the cross being gone. Yeah, I would have been like, this shit's old. real. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, he took it to another whole other yeah. level. But anyways, guys, if you guys want to do a segment called Real or Fake, send us a bunch of videos that I'm you guys sure think. Yeah, that was good. Send us uh, uh, some clips if you guys want us to see if it's real or fake and let us know if it's real or fake. Yes. You can send it to me. You can send it to George or Efren, and we could all agree if it's fake or real. And 
for the people that don't know, like, I literally got this video through our Twitter. The people that submitted their scary videos through Twitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I literally, I I went on it the other day, and I was like, let me see what people submitted. I went through one of the links that you sent us through this, mm-hmm. and the video I seen it was like, whoa, this is really, like, creepy stuff out here. Actually, I have a, we have a Twitter. Go, go, go send us stuff. I have Twitter a picture too. from one of our fans that sent it to us. We can put this as a real or fake. You guys can tell me if it's real or fake. All right, let me pull it up real quick. So this fan said, hey, Hey guys, big fan. Want to show you a guys a photo my mom took a long time ago of me at a place. I always hide my face on social media, but I started getting a lot of comments saying who's that in the back. And I zoomed in and created this photo. I don't know, but that shit was creepy to this day. Let's see, it. And then we can see if it's real or fake. That's weird. That's kind of creepy, but I feel like somebody's just like, "What do you guys think? Real or fake?" That's super creepy. That's it's real. It's creepy, bro. It's, it's creepy. Bro. It's creepy. Sure. I feel like it's real. It was probably someone that real walked in. Someone was looking through. I yeah. Feel, yeah. So I believe this. I believe that it's real, but it's not what we think it is. I don't I think no it's. Attention. I don't think it's like a demon or, or a ghost. I think it's just someone who accidentally like. Walk by and when they took it, just perfect weird. timing. Yeah, it was called. a perfect timing. <laughs> so that shit was creepy. He sent it to me. I saw it. he sent it to me at night, yeah, and I saw it. And I was like, oh shit, I got scared. And then you got scared, huh? No. I was like, oh shit, and I got scared. And then I was like, oh shit, this is actually pretty creepy. So, shout out to you, man. That was that was a good that was a good picture. Shout out to you. Yeah, and he, he wasn't lying. He does hide his face. <laughs> he covers hide his face pretty well. Whoever took that photo, <laughs> whoever took that photo and really wanted to hide him. This one I titled it crying for help and this is why i'm, I'm gonna tell you why so a youtuber by the name of these dark adventures travels to haunted parks in ohio called the beaver creek state park in east liverpool okay get that in mind she does experiments going to like how we're doing right now you know how there's trees and everything so she does that just explores them you know they have haunted stories behind them she goes see what's up so she went to this place and she's like i'm gonna walk around deep in the woods and watch when she does that. This is what happened. Oh, uh, right myself. Anyway, I've got the EMF detector and I'm gonna, um, is that gonna help? I'm blind myself. See if I can get anything to I interact with that. When I, my old one I used to have. My old one I used to have, I broke. So I'm gonna try to do that this time. I was not even on that I wasn't even on the app. I don't know what how that came out of my freaking phone. I don't know what to do guys. I don't want to be in here. I wanted to make a good video for you guys, but I don't know what the heck made that noise. It sounds like a dang wild cat, like a big big cat, but we don't have big cats here. I don't feel good in this place, guys. I really don't know what to do. I really don't know where to go. not good. I think they're trying to lure me out. There's flashlights. I don't know if you guys can see them. I don't know what to do, guys. If I move, they're going to hear me. Help me. Oh, my God. It's crazy, bro. Fuck. Whoa. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, hold on. That Be- was crazy, bro. Whoa. Okay, first of all... <laughs> Let's let's all agree on this. 
She got more balls than all of yeah. us, bro. bro. She's going. She's going by herself. Adventures by herself, bro. A woman. A <laughs> we're woman. Three guys. <laughs> and we're three guys doing scary shit and sitting down and talking. And she's out there exploring by herself. That yeah. is fucking. Clap it up for her, guys. Yeah. She's she's a fucking go man, bro. Her, go follow her, bro. These that's crazy. The bro, the her things are crazy. Wow, but dude, what the but fuck? Break down the video, like in the beginning, she heard like a like a little. Like a beginning, she heard a somebody was fucking with her for sure. Somebody was trying to fuck with her, and she was like, "Well, it must be a bobcat, some type of animal." I mean, when we hear things like that, what we think of? Oh, it's type of animal. Yeah, yeah. And we, she also we've said had she mount, was, we've had like lions pull up on us. She line. also said she was coyotes. like coyotes. I'll say lions. Lions <laughs> pulled up on us. <laughs> yeah, coyotes, coyotes pull up on us. She also said like, oh, like my app wasn't open, so she probably thought like something like was something open from on her, her phone, phone, you know. Yeah. That was and then, weird. And then she's looking around and everything, and she hears, "Help!" That is crazy. Dude. And then like, "Help!" Like you're getting Again. closer. And then and then she said, "There's flashlights. They're trying to lure me out." And yeah. you saw all those like little. Beat bits of lights like there was a gang of them like I don't know, it was a like group of them so she, so she turned off her light and then she's like oh what did they find me blah, blah, blah. and then all you hear right is next sir. help me that's wow crazy. bro wow dude that's now do you guys think that's real or fake i don't know honestly that know. is crazy i don't bro. think she i feel like dude, the she got lucky if it was real she got lucky that she didn't get fucking killed yeah that she didn't get kidnapped and shit if that video is it, it turned off sorry sorry what turned off the light again oh my god yeah that's what talking about the camera and shit <laughs> damn that's fucking crazy this video has no context behind it but i found it and i thought it was fucking scary check it out i stuck with a lot of him Was that? Sorry? <laughs> yeah, but what the fuck was that? Like a person on the nightwalk? Yeah. That's scary. Ugh. Imagine that she pulls up right now behind sorry. us. Sorry, sorry for really jump scaring fake. you guys, but that was that was probably fake. So uh, this video is similar to the one you you showed me, George. Same thing. Guy goes out in the middle of the woods, but he's not doing scary stuff. He's actually like, camping. He shows people how to camp and like survive in the wilderness. And he, he even said that he said that he probably it wasn't somebody somebody was fucking with him yeah he says that like somebody was fucking with me that night i know somebody was fucking with me because he was there by himself and he heard someone said i see you like loud as fuck and he was like oh shoot and he turned off the light he's like hello who's there and then he was like fuck it i'm leaving he left yeah but he yeah he did but he knows somebody was there because he saw a lot of people in that area camp but he said that night it was he felt like he was by himself alone and it was mid like in the middle of the night. Check it out. Shit. I don't, bro, when you go camping, take someone. I hate when people go camping by themselves. Like, why are you doing that? Like, what's the benefit of going camping by yourself? They say the worst thing you can encounter in the woods is other people. An outdoorsman was camping in this creepy forest he's been to several times. <laughs> and as he goes deeper into the woods to explore, he hears this. I'm not sure if you guys ever seen the Blair Witch Project, but damn, this is just giving me Blair Witch Project vibes. Super cool. Imagine just being lost out here. It feels like this would never end. Oh, oh hi. What the hell? I need to get out of here. Oh boy. It could have been campers. But this area is extremely secluded. Damn it. I need to find camp. I'm completely disoriented right now. Wow. wow now that's wow, crazy. Wow. It, another uh, One of the things he said in the video that I was like, damn, that is pretty fucking creepy. Besides the whole ICU shit is that. You know, it, if you keep walking, it, it like it like it never ends. It feels like it never ends, yeah. And if you keep walking in the woods and walking while it never ends, and you get lost in that bitch. Wow. 
That is crazy to me. That's the that's the, that's like the scariest that thing about being Blair, in the woods. That's the Blair Witch is Project. Is that right there. you don't know if you're going in circles or you're going the right way, or left true, or right? Oh, that is true. Yeah. You know, Unless, you, what if like you just go straight, 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 and it just never ends? Like, fuck, that would like, be. Even I heard the and best. You, and you keep going, and then like, you place like a little bread right there. Keep going forward, keep going forward, and that little bread pops gone. up again. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Shoot. Yeah, that'd be crazy. That's like you're going I, forward. I, I do time. remember the movie, The Blair Witch Project. I heard. Yeah, in what the is that? I never seen it. So the movie's based on these, uh, these, uh, like ghost hunter explorers. No, documenters. Docu- they're yeah, they're filmmakers, and they want to do a documentary on the urban legend of the Blair Witch mm-hmm. at this uh, town in the forest. It was a, it and, was a girl, and then two guys who were filmmakers. Yeah, and so. Um, sorry. Yeah, so in the movie it says that. They went out to do the documentary and they interviewed a bunch of locals and there was a bunch of urban legends and rumors that there's there's witches in the woods or witches around the city, the town, right? Yeah. So they decided to go camp where they heard a lot of rumors, a lot of sightings. Yeah. So they went and they ended up getting lost in the, in the woods. And while they're in the woods, they see like rocks piled up. They see sticks, figures like, you know, put as signs and stuff. And they can tell it's from the Blair Witch. Like, the witch is fucking witch. with them. And then they ended up getting lost, and they start going crazy, you know? They get crazy. They're losing their minds. Delusional. They start feeling delusional. They start feeling delusional. and They, they start know, turning against each other. They, against each other. And then one night, one of the guys heard somebody, some kids in his, in his camp. Like, somebody was in his tent. And he freaked out and ran out. And he got lost. And they never found him. And then they found this crazy-looking house in the middle of, like, the woods. And I guess that's where the witch stays. Yeah. And then they got, and they ended up dying, all of them. And the, the, well, it, 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 it never, it never specifically says like how, like, like they, who the like, witch was and everything. Like that. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Like once they like, so once basically they died. like found footage. But the the so the story goes or like the basically the reason why they got lost is because they said that the Blair Witch controls the woods. Like she she yeah. manipulates the woods so you can go in circles and circles. But there's there is a lot of theories. In that movie, that they think the two guys that took the girl were planning to murder her. Yeah, that was another theory about it. So that's another creepy thing too. That is crazy. Somebody was there fucking with him in the middle of the night. Yeah. Uh. That is crazy. That's scary. That's what I meant by like people are more scarier than ghosts or demons because they sure. can actually hurt you and harm you. You know, yeah. demons and them they could actually they can hurt you and harm you too. But agrees, agrees. But these people are like they can do the unthinkable. What well, thank you guys for watching another episode of Scary Shit. Scary Shit. We're going to have a new episode coming up next week, guys. Like I said, this month we're going to drop a lot of scary shit episodes. So stay tuned for that. We're going to come up with more scary stuff, more scary videos. And also, you know, like, subscribe this video. And subscribe to our Patreon, only $5 a month. We post a lot of audio-only podcasts on there. We're going to start doing only audio scary shit now. Yep. So stay, stay tuned for that. It's going to be only scary stories, no videos. And then... You know, hope you guys like this month. We have a bunch of new video ideas we want to do. We want to try out some new videos. So stay tuned for that, guys. Let's Thank go. you guys for watching. Peace. Stay safe. Stay prayed up. Stay and if you up. see anything scary or witness anything, pull your phone out, record that shit, and send it to us. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Hold on, hold on. We got to do the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ready? Ready? One, two. two. Hey.